How can you tell the must-haves from the junk when it comes to shopping on social media? Well, Jacob Fan from Fantastic Media is here to give us some helpful tips. Jacob, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely, thanks for being here. So this is such a popular thing, right? Something that we were saying earlier, wasn't even really around five, 10 years ago, but shopping on social media has become the new trend. So for those at home who maybe haven't quite done it yet, explain what it's like when you shop on social media. I mean, it's unbelievable how time flies, right? Back in the day, people were going in, you know, in the store and mm -hmm. things like that. Now you can just go on your phone, go on Instagram or go on TikTok or even Facebook Marketplace and see a shirt or see something that they like and buy it straight from there, right. which, leads to issues as we kind of talked about where scamming and things like that. Right. So it's all about how do you not get scammed or how do you find the product that you like but depending on the size, the feel. Because when you're in person, you can feel that. You can test it out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Online, it's really hard to do that. So that leads to issues for sure. Absolutely. And yes, so buying clothes online can always be scary. Correct. Shoes, things like that. Because you're like, oh man, I can't touch it. I can't try it on. Yep. So it does become kind of a a bit of a gamble when you're buying online and especially for me Brad and I were talking earlier and I said you know recently my husband got scammed where he bought something on Facebook waited for it and it just kind of never showed yeah. up so what are the percentages when people are dealing with things like that how often do you find that there are scams it happens a lot nowadays mm -hmm. especially even on Facebook and Instagram yeah but there are ways to get a, a you know to battle that and one of the biggest ways is looking at reviews or a verified mm -hmm. reseller mm -hmm. so you one of the biggest things on Facebook and Instagram is you can check out if their reviews are going good and things like that but as well if they're verified um, and that's a big thing that you can test that out with and a lot of times too with these resellers they add if like it doesn't fit or anything like that you can ship it back ones that don't you can get scammed for sure because like I said a lot of times that happens okay so really look for those reviews yes. that's a good way to do it look for the verified yep. sticker and or I whatever. would look at too like how long when you go you know off of their face you know off of Facebook how long has their website existed look mm. at those things like that all their payments and stuff like that but reviews are the biggest thing that I would look for for sure absolutely so yeah. I know for me when I am you know following someone on TikTok or Instagram or whatever it might be I do see a lot of people giving their reviews like oh hey let me do a haul for you I just bought all this great stuff so when it comes to that how do we know if someone's being paid and they're just saying this because that company is paying them yeah so obviously when they're doing that on Instagram Facebook any of the social platforms it says sponsored right so that okay. is a sponsorship and face and these social media platforms make you do that but the end of the day that's actually a really big thing because if you go on websites nowadays right for clothes or anything mm -hmm. back in the day even when I used to shop it was always like there'd be a white, you know, just be the clothes. There would nothing be lifestyle. Now it's all about lifestyle. Right. You see the shirt when someone's walking, and that's a huge thing on social. It's all about relatability and the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That's what people want to buy from, not just the product, right. but what you, how you wear it and where you wear it. So that's what social media does great with these influencer collaborations, mm -hmm. is that usually that influencer, and that's the one thing I'll say, most of these influencers are actually a buyer already. So they actually already mm -hmm. are a person that shops at that brand, mm -hmm. and a lot of these businesses target those existing customers that have a big influence in that area. So that's a huge thing for sure. Okay, that's great. Okay, so now break down for me when it comes to the difference between buying something like on TikTok shop versus like Amazon. We were saying earlier, you know, okay, so I see something on their Amazon storefront and I go and I buy that. Does that really count as purchasing something on social media or is it a little bit different compared to like the TikTok shop specifically? That's, yeah, that's a great question. So I would say it's a little different mm -hmm. because with Instagram and TikTok, you can kind of see that lifestyle. Like I said, you can go based on their profile and see what other things as well. You can see, you know, their target audience. So that's a big thing with influencer collaborations is it's all about their target audience, mm -hmm. right? So if they are representing a skincare line, where's their audience right how old are they everything like that on Amazon you can't see that right. so that's what's great about social is you can take deep into the research on that customer and on that influencer rather than Amazon you're just looking at the reviews as well right this seems like there are really good things about it and then some scary things about Correct. it so mainly if you're gonna buy on social look at those reviews make sure you're looking at a verified person Correct. and then you're you're probably gonna feel pretty safe yep okay I love it all right Jacob well tell everybody where they can work with you if they're interested yeah if you're interested you can uh, reach out to 
fantastic, F-A-N-N-tastic, media, LLC.com, or you can give us a call at 602-881-9067. We always love to see, you know, a lot of our clients are all here in Arizona. We're locally based. My mm -hmm. whole entire team is locally based, so we love working with small businesses. Oh, that's great. And yeah, it, I love the name. It's really, really fun. And yeah, you just gave us a bunch of great social media stuff, so I'm sure they can follow you on social media Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, that's so great. Jacob, thank you again for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, guys, stick around because we have more of the mix coming up after this.